to the test. At this time, I would like to introduce Reverend Karen Black to give the first blessing. What a joyous night. Thank you, Holy Lord, for all that you have given to us and for the shepherds and the wise men that have been this set us pray. Oh, Lord of the universe, on this very night we give you our all thanks and glory. For you are our guide and our comforter. Without you, we are nothing. With you, we are able to do more than we could ever ask or imagine. So tonight we give you our thanks, and thanks for all who have worked so hard to make this community a better place for everyone. Thanks for all who have given up their time and their talent and treasure to care for the least among us. And we give thanks for everyone gathered here, ready to rejoice in music and sound. Thanks be to God, and may Beaverton be always a blessing unto you. This I ask in your name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce the lovely Miss Beaverton, Kennedy Share. Hello, everyone. As I look around and see the many faces of neighbors and friends, I realize that what lights up our hearts and illuminates our souls, not only during the holidays, but every day, has nothing to do with electricity and has everything to do with the human spirit. Friends are a lot like Christmas lights. They light up the darkness and make our days and nights shine bright. The custom of Christmas lights goes back to the use of candles to decorate the Christmas tree in homes in the 18th century. The first known electrically lighted Christmas tree was the creation of Edward Johnson, a friend of inventor Thomas Edison. By the mid-20th century, it became customary to hang signs of electric lights along streets and on buildings and publicly display Christmas trees. The lighting of the tree in Beaverton is a tradition dating back to before World War II. One thing's for certain, no matter what the technology at hand, no matter what the reason to celebrate, the human desire to light up trees and houses in the cold darkness of the winter months will forever be a source of amazement and joy. Christmas is the season for telling your loved ones how much they mean to you. Christmas is about family, friends, and neighbors. Christmas is a necessity. There has to be a day of the year to remind us that we're here for someone else besides ourselves. Tonight, we throw light on what Christmas is all about. The season of Christmas is a time to spread love and joy. Christmas carols, hot chocolate, bright lights on city streets, hearts full of people gathered to share the kind of gifts you can't cover in wrapping paper. Remind us that Christmas is just around the corner. Let us never forget the true meaning of Christmas and the very first Christmas light that lit up the Bethlehem sky and continues to shine down upon us all. O little town of Beaverton, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Thank you and Merry Christmas.